everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to do a video on the news that's spreading all over across the internet, and that is the news that Spider-Man is now going to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. All I have to say is... That's pretty damn awesome. I do really like that news. I think it's a fair uh, choice for Marvel and Sony to do because Sony does still have the rights, but Marvel at least has the rights to put Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now, which I think is really cool. And it's fair. It's a 50-50 thing. This way, Sony can still at least make money from Spider-Man. So I think that's the best deal they could go with. I think that's a fair deal, and I think it's a smart deal to go with as well. Now, I'll be honest, I know the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, most fans are not very pleased with it, but I honestly really enjoyed the two movies. I really liked the first Amazing Spider-Man, and I liked Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think they're both very well done movies. I am a little bummed that there's not going to be Amazing Spider-Man 3, however, just because the franchise doesn't have a conclusion. If you're going to start a franchise, at least least give it a conclusion. I know most fans don't want to see an Amazing Spider-Man 3 because of how god-awful the first two movies are, mainly two in their opinions, but personally I still would have liked to see Amazing Spider-Man 3 and it's kind of a shame that oh, I'm not going to see what's going to happen in Amazing Spider-Man 3 now. But back to the positive side, however, I am happy about Spider-Man. Now, Andrew Garfield, he was a fantastic Spider-Man. But unfortunately, I think due to the comments of him saying how much Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked, and just due to the fact that this is going to be a new Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's not going to portray Spider-Man anymore. So they're going to be casting a new Spider-Man, in which I'm very curious to see who the new Spider-Man is going to be now. Spider-Man, now from what I'm hearing, he's set to appear in Captain America Civil War, which is going to come out in 2016, and then we're going to get a solo Spider-Man movie in 2017. All I can say is that it's going to be so good to see Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because yes, even though I did really enjoy the Amazing Spider-Man movies, I've been always saying, man, Spidey, he just needs to be in the universe. He needs to be in there. And now I'm happy to see that he's going to be joining aside the Avengers and I really look forward to seeing him make his debut in Captain America Civil War. So you're gonna get Iron Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Black Widow, you're gonna get all of them in Captain America Civil War and that's gonna be badass to see right there. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Now due to the fact that we now have a Spider-Man movie, Marvel has changed around their Phase 3 scheduling. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you their new schedule. So now we have Captain America Civil War for May 6, 2016. Doctor Strange for November 4th, 2016. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 for May 5th, 2017. Spider-Man for July 27th, 2017. Thor Ragnarok for November 3rd, 2017. The Avengers Infinity War Part 1 for May 4th, 2018. Black Panther for July 6th, 2018. Captain Marvel for November 2nd, 2018. Then The Avengers Infinity War Part 2 for May 3rd, 2019. And then Inhumans for July 12th, 2019. In terms of Spider-Man being part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe now, I am very satisfied and I just can't wait to see where Marvel takes Spider-Man in this universe. So everyone, of course, in the comments down below, let me know. Are you happy that Spider-Man is going to be part of the cinematic universe now? Did you enjoy the Amazing Spider-Man franchise? Are you sad to see Andrew Garfield go? Or are you happy that they're going to cast a new Spider-Man now? This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. Pew.